Nikki of The Wealthy Woman Within. Welcome again to Tapping Into The Oracle, where each week I tune into you, my lightworking lady, and ask my spirits and guides, what have you been working on? What's been challenging you in the last week? And how you can move forward? And I pull Oracle cards for guidance there. And then we finish up with an EFT tapping round so that you can move through any resistance that you have to following the guidance that was given. So this week, when I asked what you'd been working on, it's actually, it's funny, this was a card that came up a couple weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, it was actually as your card on how to move forward. And I feel like we've really, we've been in that energy for a few weeks now. So what you are working on, what you're struggling with right now is really accepting what is. Accepting what is and specifically accepting who you are accepting all those parts of you. And if you've tuned into my other videos, you know that a couple of weeks ago, I did a Facebook live stream on manifesting. And one of the things that we did in that live stream was I led you through a visualization about accepting all parts of yourself because it's really, it's so core to creating the life that you want right now. And so this is actually kind of the theme of the last week and the last couple of weeks is just how often do you find yourself in your inner self-talk? How often are you hearing words of love and encouragement from yourself? Or are you finding that normally what's coming up for you is really that voice of criticism and doubt of honoring where you're at right now and criticizing those parts of you that you don't always value and accept. And that is what you're working on right now. So the challenge is really, can you open up like those beautiful hands in the card? Open hands mean receiving being open to and receiving what is. So accepting what is, accepting yourself exactly where you are right now and exactly what you're struggling with. Can you accept that as well? And can you really embrace all of those parts of you as valuable and really strengths that can help you to overcome any challenges you're feeling and move forward with grace. Because if you look at that rose in the center there, that beautiful rose is you. And what's coming up is that there are thousands, probably millions of roses in the world, just like there are people, billions of other people but each of us is unique. So just like that rose, you are unique. You have your own shape to your petals or the own color of your leaves, or even just when you choose to bloom and the, your own fragrance. So that is just really saying, just like that gorgeous rose, you are unique and beautiful exactly as you are and all of the experiences of your life have really shaped how you are blooming and shining at the moment so spirit is asking that you really look deep within and look towards the past for all of those experiences that have led you to right now and to where you're at and allow that uniqueness to shine forth because it is that very uniqueness really that is paving your path and drawing in your future. So you are being asked to look within and listen to that self-talk and find 
the guidance, be open to the wisdom of how you can love yourself, how you can accept yourself. And the way that you can do that, the oracles have given us a way forward and that way forward is provided by Archangel Raphael, who's really that Archangel of healing, healing on all levels. And his advice to you is to breathe. And that is when you're hearing that critical voice in your head kind of putting you down, saying you still haven't done this or why can't you be better? He's saying to pause and to breathe, take a couple of deep breaths and give yourself a moment to make a new choice, to reset, breathe through that criticism and see if you can open yourself up to a different choice, a loving choice, an accepting choice, because he is here with you to facilitate that healing, because this is a healing on an energetic level, right? This is healing old patterns where you've learned to criticize yourself and embracing a new pattern of really loving and owning who you are. And when you step into that new pattern there, there is kind of a enthusiasm and an excitement and a joy for just being yourself. And that's what he is here to help you do, to heal forward into this new pattern of really loving and accepting yourself with new self-talk, with new words. Because if you notice the colors there in his tunic that he's wearing, it's this beautiful green and turquoise kind of intermingled. And that is so Archangel Raphael and his message because green is the color of healing and turquoise is the color of communication. So he is saying, I am here to help you heal your self communication and to make new choices and embrace new patterns of love and acceptance of yourself. And that is just a beautiful message to move forward into our week. So how did that message feel for you? Did that resonate with what you've been going through? And does that give you a new path forward? I know for me, it's, it's such a good reminder. We get so busy. I find myself just always with something to do, something on my plate. And that reminder to take the pause and breathe and reset and just check in with my own inner world and make new choices is really inspiring to me. But let's go ahead and do some EFT tapping because the reality is, although this is a beautiful piece of guidance, it can be really hard to put into action, right? So let's tap through the points and work through any of that resistance we may have to following Archangel Raphael's guidance. So tapping with me and just following and saying the phrases after me as you tap, I hear the guidance that's coming through. The guidance on my behalf Archangel Raphael is leading me forward, asking me to pause, saying breathe. Breathe and tune into myself. Breathe and listen to my own words, to my inner voice and check in. Am I being loving with myself? Or am I being critical? And I know more often than not, I'm being critical. 
It's so easy to go there. To go into self-judgment. Because I'm not where I want to be. There's so much more I want to do. I want my future to be here now. So to accept what is, to embrace myself as I am, that's really challenging to me. It's hard to do. It's hard to do on my own. But what if there was a different way? A way to do it not on my own. Where I had support and guidance at the highest level. Because that guidance, it came from Archangel Raphael himself. The whole universe is behind me here. And that makes me feel a little more optimistic. Like maybe I can do this. It's really not too much to ask. To just pause for a second. To take some deep breaths. And to reset. And to choose new words. Words of love. Words of acceptance. Choose a new energy. And I want that. So I'm just going to commit. Right here, right now. That this week. I'll just choose love. And leave aside the judgment. And I know this is a challenge. I know this is something new I'm asking of myself. But I can call upon Archangel Raphael. I can ask for him to be with me when I find myself in self-judgment. And I can ask him to help me heal forward. To help me find those words of love so that I can send out a whole new vibration, a new vibration that tells the universe that I'm behind myself, that I accept myself, all parts of me, and I love myself and am moving forward with this new healing vibration. And just taking a deep breath and kind of feeling into your energy at the moment and feeling where you're at now before, after we did the tapping and where you were before you did it and feel that shift, feel that shift kind of like a hopefulness. That's how it feels to me is just, I feel like I can do this, that I am worth it to honor myself in this way by simply pausing when I hear those critical voices and making that shift and changing the words that I use and sending out a 
whole different vibration of love. So if you liked this video and want to tune in to more, please like, subscribe, and follow me on YouTube and Facebook, and I will be tapping with you again soon. This is Nikki of The Wealthy Woman Within. Bye for now. Thank you.